Josie Cunningham. She's the woman who had a breast enlargement on the NHS. She's now using taxpayers' money to pay for taxis to take her children to school at a yearly cost of £6,000. Now, she says she can't use public transport because she gets abuse from people, which then causes her anxiety. We must stress this is about taking her children to school. So this isn't just taxis for her to nip into town or go shopping. She says, I can't take my children to school because she calls herself uh, famous now. And uh, she said, <laughs> she, and she actually says, you wouldn't see Katie Price get a bus, and I'm much more <laughs> hated than her. So, any sympathy? Oh, I mean? oh, oh. <laughs> Not even like that much sympathy. What about sympathy for her children? I have sympathy for her children, but then she should have thought of that before she started all this, and now she's blaming it on I can't take my children to school unless they're in a taxi. I mean, the girl courts publicity. You know, if you were that upset, about anything. I mean, she should have been thinking about her children from day one, and she isn't. She's on the front page of everything. Um, and I think that's exactly what she wants. She she, she's doing actually, it to be famous. You know, that, that, that she was granted the, the, the boob job on the NHS because she said, you know, her, she was very... had anxiety because of her boobs were too yeah. small. And it was passed, and, you know, there have been... And, and this one... And there that's has fine. Been... And, she was, and it was passed, and she got the boob job, and now yeah. she's having every other kind of job, and now she's still now in the paper upset. talking about it, and she's out yeah. in the public. Guy. Oh, it annoys her me. Doctor, um, her doctor... She went to her GP. He submitted a summary of her health concerns to Leeds City Council and they have accepted her application, so I suppose she's not yeah. doing anything but wrong. She's now saying that the boob job that she got on the NHS is making her depressed. This is, this is a, a young woman, I believe, who obviously has issues. Um, what I don't think is that it's the taxpayer's job to keep paying for things that, you know... <laughs> Are the wrong way of are the wrong way of tackling these issues. Um, now, clearly, she somewhere along the line, you know, this is all being done under the auspices of mental health. I would imagine she goes in, she talks to somebody, she says she has anxiety, depression, and she may well have. And the the doctor is saying, okay, I'll sign that off. That's the problem here. It, you know, her getting all of this. I'm sure a lot of people out there would love to have all of these things done for free. I don't necessarily blame her, I blame the system that is allowing it. And, you know, I saw Judy Dench on the tube the other day, and if Judy Dench can go on the tube, <laughs> I'm sure Josie Cunningham can go on the bus but, you know, or whatever. say she has been... Maybe she has been on the bus with her kids and somebody is being very abusive. That is not nice for her children yeah. to witness, is it? No. So I suppose but as Colleen more... says, she's placed herself out there. They wouldn't have known any of this if she hadn't put herself out in the public domain on it. Well, she, she has a spokesperson now. Exactly. <laughs> of course she we, has. We rest yeah. our case. Yes. She does have a spokesperson um, who says, uh, Josie understands why today's story may infuriate some people. I think it's done more than that for Colleen. Oh. Um, but she insists it's vital that she ensures her children maintain a good attendance at school. And actually, Leeds City Council, who've obviously approved this application, uh, they said, we're not able to comment on individual cases. However, uh, we do take any matters relating to children's attendance at school extremely yeah, that, seriously. That's so that's what it's all yeah. coming down to, That's smoke it? and because... mirrors. You know, she could, she could wear a disguise. That would be a lot cheaper. But you know Let's what pay I think... for a disguise and go on the bus. You know what annoys me more? She's saying she has to... She can't go on the bus because she gets abused and that's not fair on her children. Does she not think when her children are going into school with other kids who see their mum in the paper this, and all yeah. that, they're not getting abuse anyway? She's not thinking Dana about kids. Dana on Facebook. Hi, Dana. Uh, she says, I'm a mum to five children and my youngest two are housebound as they are in body casts. I have to pay a childminder to do the school run out of our hard-earned mm. money. Mm. Um, yeah. And when you think there Where's are so the many fairness, parents out there with disabled children trying to get what's called a statement of needs so that then they can get the help that they need, the extra help that they need, and they're thwarted at every turn. So when they read something like this, which is a simple case of getting children to school, they must just think they're on another well, planet. So but Selena, uh, Claire, Selena Lewis on Facebook... Uh, Selena Louise, sorry, Louise. Uh, I think it's for her children's benefits, so she shouldn't have to face abuse, and neither should her kids, so I would do the same. So... I, I don't believe any of it that she, as she's doing for her kids. You know, she, I question why it's mm. even in the papers in the first place. I mean, how did it get there? It's obviously her. If she's got that much anxiety, she would, the last thing she would be doing was 
would be posing for the front page of the newspaper. I mean, we don't know it's that for just... sure. You know, maybe the papers have followed her because of her the, the initial story, which was there was a lot of outrage, wasn't there, when she got the initial boob job on the NHS. They maybe just follow her story. So but we don't she was know. up for Big Brother at one point. Yeah. She is clearly yeah. seeking that path. That and what well she said path. about the Big Brother yeah. tells mm -hmm. me that yeah. nothing she does is for her kids. But, you know, she wants to be famous. Yeah, well, I suppose she is. We're talking about her, aren't oh, we? Well, I know that's what's yeah. annoying. We make her famous because we keep talking about so, her. So, moving on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>